there are two species and four subspecies of gorillas. Uh, two main uh, species are the eastern and the western gorillas, and each of these two has two subspecies. The ones that we all know about the most are the mountain gorillas, which is subspecies of eastern gorillas. The other uh, uh, subspecies of eastern gorillas is the crower gorilla, which inhabits mostly in the DRC. On the western gorilla side, we also have two subspecies, the cross river gorillas and the western lowland gorillas. While we are most mostly familiar with mountain gorillas, and we usually associate gorillas with uh, you know, the countries of the DRC, Uganda and Rwanda, the western gorillas are actually inhabiting in a much wider um, territory range, which can go from Cameroon all the way to the two Congos, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea and even Nigeria. Gorillas are considered a critically endangered species by the Union for Conservation of Nature. This is because for some of the subspecies, like the Cross River Gorillas, there are less than 300 animals remaining in the wild. And all of them are decreasing in number except for the mountain gorillas, who thankfully, as a result of all the efforts started by Diane Fossey and all of the habituation and conservation efforts in Uganda, Rwanda and the DRC, have started to increase in numbers. Contrary to popular belief, gorillas are very kind, very social and very peaceful animals and in fact they are herbivores. That means that they only eat grass, roots, uh, fruits, uh, um, branches and, and seeds and this sort of, uh, of food that they can find in the forests. They never eat any other animals and they certainly do not eat humans. Gorillas are identified by their nose prints. When you're going on a, on a trip to see gorillas in the wild, in Uganda, in Rwanda or in the DRC, your guides will be able to tell you which, which gorilla is which and what they are called based on their nose prints. So just by looking at their face and their nose structure, they, they will be able to tell you their names. Gorillas sleep in trees and build a nest every evening in a different place. Silverbacks usually sleep on the ground so that they can be alert to any attacks. Gorillas live in families of several animals, but one silverback always dominates the group. There can be more than one silverback in each family, but usually when a silverback gorilla is mature enough, he will either fight the main silverback for dominance of the group, or will leave to form a new family by taking some of the females or finding new females from a different family. Mountain gorillas in Uganda, Rwanda and the DRC have been habituated to humans this means that they are used to being around humans and they do not get nervous or scared if you get close by. Every day, guests can visit some of the families or, or all of the families that have been habituated in each of the parks where gorilla tracking is, uh, is allowed. And each group will have no more than eight guests, some uh, park guards and some guides, and will spend no more than one hour in close proximity to the gorillas, which can be as close as one or two meters, since they move around quite a bit. But usually a safety distance of seven meters needs to be maintained for the gorillas to feel not threatened and in a safe environment and protected from any disease that humans can have and can give them. Uh, I like gorillas because uh, they are like human beings, 97% more than that. I can invite everybody to be excited to go and see them and they are so very good and friendly. The most interesting things for the gorillas is where they interact with each other, the way they interact with us, the way we communicate to them. Because uh, we have a different vocalization, we are using only communicate with them. We can say good morning, we are saying Man. By replying in the same sound, it means uh, you are most welcome. But sometimes, if they are not in a good mood, they can only us by saying, oh, oh, oh. If they say like that, uh, there is something unusual. So we check out what is wrong, then keep talking to them in a good mood, saying, Man. until they reply in the same sound, which means everything is good. When a baby, I see baby coming close to you, so I can talk to the babies like, That's like warning. So even for you, you can warning the babies, but please don't warning mom or silver back. And uh, before to get to the group and start to have pictures, it's good when we communicate with them. We came in peace. Oh, good morning. So we always say, 
That's like good money. And uh, if Mr. Gasha is ready to receiving us, he may say, that's your welcome. And if he's busy, he can say, good morning. So may you wait a moment. So we can be standing having pictures. Maybe behind you, there is gorilla food. You see one of them coming close to you and start to talk. <laughs> that means, can you give me my way? In that case, please, please don't touch them back. Because when you are touching them back, Mr. Gasha can think you want to take babies in your country. He can change behavior. The gorilla, they do beat on the chest like this especially the silver back. Uh, when the silver back beats on the chest like this, it means he's saying, I'm the chief. And sometimes the, the little ones, they can do again, they do beat like this, but they are praying, just uh, having fun. Sometimes they would like to imitate just uh, his dad, but just the silver backs for them, when he beats, he's showing the members, I'm the boss. Here in Rwanda, we do have a gorilla naming ceremony every year. It's where just uh, we do invite everybody to come to have a look and then to see how it is big ceremony and how it is important, how the gorillas is important to animals in Rwanda. So if you want to I'll give a name to the gorillas, just uh, you may ask and then you say the name you would like to give to the gorillas and then you explain why you would like to give to that name, I mean the meaning of the name, and then they can agree or not, depends on how you would like to give them the name. Last year, we have named 19 gorillas. So there was 14 baby born and four females. They were solitary ones and one new gorilla family. Where it comes from those four females, just there was a new, there was a silver box who left some groups and then he wanted to get his own group. So what he did, just he was trying to see how he may attract some females from another group or from just somewhere in the park and it's where he attract some four females just from the bush in the park so that's why we decided just to give those four females name because we didn't know where they come from this new gorilla family we named mohoza just because this mohoza there was just a guide who found them when he was tracking the gorillas with the guest that's why here in rwanda we do name just Gorilla Newborn and some new Gorilla family and some solitary ones which joined the Gorilla family. <laughs>